Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marilyn Darling Show. And welcome to another episode of Mail Time. Hello, how are you? Are you having a nice day? I hope you're having a nice day wherever you are in the world. And I have an Amazon package. Da -da 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 -da. Here we have El Boxo. Uh, El Boxo of Angue Nu Intense. Or Waterman Intense Black via Perry. Mm hmm. Very interesting. On Queen Wall, Black Ink, Zwit Inks. Charney Tours. Incliner Le Flacon On le soir et au toi quartz vert tilt le bottle when it is three quarters empty. <laughs> All right. Well, Waterman, made in France, approximately 2.01, whatever that means. Cool. I, as you probably already know, have a bottle, but as you can see, when I tilt it, it's not very much. <laughs> Maybe a sample worth. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to decant this into a sample vial. And archive that bottle. And by archive, I mean wash it out and put water in it so I can use it as for other ink. I'll probably put Sumi ink in here next. So, have me a little sample vial. I want to make sure and clean this vial out real good. Just to make sure that I don't get any funny contaminants in there. Hello, James. How are you? Long time no see. How have you been? I have blue ink in here. I can tell. Hi, Will. How are you? Are you having a nice day? Okay. I'm going to go wash this out. I'll be back in two ticks.
I am really quote unquote anal about having things clean and pristine so that I can have a good experience because there are some people out there, cough, Pierre Gustafson, cough, that do not wash their pens out. <laughs> you just kind of expect them to work after 12 different inks have gone through them and there's like 10 different flavors of ink in one <laughs> pen and all dried and crusty. <laughs> it makes me shiver just thinking about it. <laughs> I love you, Pierre, but please know you have to take better care of your pens. <laughs> all right. Let me put my little things away. I'll put down a acetate just in case I have an accident. Okay, here we go. Now it says that you can bet, uh, tilt the bottle to a certain degree, and then after that, you're kind of out of luck. I don't think you're supposed to lean it this way, but I mean, it is theoretically an option, but there's not much of a lip there. This way is good, but this way... Ah, you can tilt it that way, but I wouldn't advise it. And I probably have a few different inks in here too, so <clears throat> well I'm glad you're doing better. I was worried we haven't seen you in a while. So I've done a I've done a thing. I had one and I don't know what I did with it. So I made a thought list. I'm not really much one for quote unquote prayer, but I will put you on my thought list because Did you ever get that fountain pen that I sent you? Did I send you a fountain pen? I can't remember. It's been too long. It's been too long, James. That's how we know. It's been too long. I think that I put Parker Quink Black in this one. I don't like it. Mm. I don't remember what I put in here. Let me see. We have the technology. E. Mm. I have no idea what is in this pen. I think I inked up the last of the um, the part the Parker Parker ink and put it in here. And this Parker Quink Black has had so much water added to it because it just. Or so many other ink samples added to it because I just started not caring. <laughs> because... Just one long time. Okay, good. Yeah. I can't remember. 
remember. I, <clears throat> although I have been, I do now have an address book with um, when people send me things. So that way I have a record of if I reply to people, at least an in-out log. And then I have addresses in the back, so you won't see that, but that's, that's where that goes. <clears throat> and if you haven't written me in a while, you should write me. I'm like, I'm fun. <laughs> Sometimes. Not really. Just never. Don't notice. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to wash this bottle out. Two ticks. Awesome. I can scratch this little. Label off. Should have taken it off when it was dry. A somewhat usable bottle so I can put my ink in it. See what I have been doing because the sample vial is not very convenient. <clears throat> I've been using these little tiny ink pots and I glued them to a piece of broken CD so they have a little bit of stability and I put my dip pen ink in there and when I dip my pen it goes down to the perfect level so I was thinking about putting some sumi ink in this one or maybe some other type of ink <clears throat> I don't know I'll have to figure out because I really don't want to put a whole bunch of ink in here I put, I have another, I have this bottle here that a uh, pen friend gifted me, and I put water in it so when I'm done, I could just swizzle my, my pen around in it and then wipe it off. So, and that just sits there on my table. Okay, you all want to see the ink. Okay, let's take a look at the ink, shall we? So, here it is. Oh, I love that new bottle look. It looks like the same formula. It's like a purple black. Okay, let's break out a book. I don't notice my pens over here. I was going to make a different kind of video, but decided not to, so that will have to be for another time. Okay, it can't, okay, there. Can we all see? I think we can all see.
love using this dip pen because it's just super smooth. <clears throat> and then I give it a little swizzle in the, in the water pot. And it's ready to go for another. I should have a review of this on my channel. If I don't, <clears throat> I will try and make one. I'm going to see how it compares to the old one. Because that would be interesting to know if it's changed in this whole probably year that I've had this. This is like my third bottle of ink that I've ever gotten. So. They look pretty much the same to me. Sometimes <clears throat> people that often change inks will put the ink that's in a pen back into a bottle after they're done using it or they will run the pen until it's dry. Well, I have a very special sample vial that I just dump all of my not finished inks into so that way I don't contaminate any of my my samples Let's take a look and see what that one looks like. Contend and animated. Well, it's black. <laughs> it definitely looks black. Maybe this is one that's already. I don't remember. It was one of two that it. It was, and I can't remember what I did with it. I might have used it all up. But maybe it's this one. It might be this one. Nope, it's definitely not that one. 
It would be black by now. <clears throat> well, at any rate, I do have one. I don't know where it is. I haven't had to empty a sample in a long time. What do I do with it? Maybe this isn't. Yep, this is definitely it. Yep, this is it. It's definitely a blue. Doesn't look too bad. Well, I should try and put this into a pen. Looks really nice. It's not exactly how I wanted it to go. Let me see if I can do a better job. <clears throat> not doing a very great job. Making a mess. That's what I'm good at. Okay. How am I going to do this? I'm going to do the experiment with one minute intense black <clears throat> to see if we have any There we go. Toilet paper chromatography. Well, that's very interesting. It starts off black, <clears throat> and then it goes to like a dark blue, and then out here it's like got some brown going on. This is very interesting. I didn't expect brown, but... That's very interesting. Wow. What do you guys think of that? 
pretty cool, huh? Hi, Trisha. How are you? How's it going? Long time no see. Where have you been? Where have you been? I apologize if I'm buffering. My internet lately has not been the best. I don't know why. <clears throat> this is what I like to call toilet paper chromatography. What do you think? This used to be black. <clears throat> There's some black. And then out here is like this blue color. And then around the edge is like a brown or a tan color. It's really pretty. Make for a good tree. Or a bush. Or something. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, upside down backwards. What do you think of that? Pretty cool, huh? Blob some ink down on a page, put some water in it, and then put one square of toilet paper in the corner, and then watch it go. Pretty cool. <clears throat> I've recently been doing this with a couple of different inks. I've just thrown away the toilet paper afterwards, but I don't know, maybe I should keep it. I mean, it's kind of weird to just have one square of toilet paper, you know. The ochre color is weird. The brown around the outside, yeah, it's weird. <clears throat> totally something I didn't expect anyway. I'll be right back. Two shakes. <laughs> Well, what shall we do? What else shall we do today? Shall we do some practice? It's been a while since I've had a practice session. <clears throat> Thinking about making a Zoom at on YouTube, but if I keep having these buffering issues, <coughs> that's going to suck. Let it dry out and see what it is like. Right. I will definitely do that. All right. This ink is Krishna Black.
I was using Noodler's um, X Feather, but it doesn't dry. It never dries. I got so frustrated because <clears throat> a, a pen friend said that they got my letter like two days after I had sent it. And it was just a jumbled mess. And I was like, oh my god. Made me so mad. So, don't buy X Feather. It never dries. <laughs> Anybody want a bottle of X Feather? I would totally send you the bottle. You can have it. It's... Oh, geez. And this is the other problem that I was having. Smearing issues. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Sometimes when you find something that you like, <clears throat> you have to practice it a little bit just to... Yes, already. I know, I just got used to standing for eight hours. Dear God, what a nightmare. And so I'm in quarantine. All the doctors are in quarantine. The clinic is shut. Hello. How are ya? I'm going to try not to butcher your name. Sorry, hold on just one second. I changed my settings. I'm so stupid. I should just leave the damn settings alone. So I made the font too tiny. Now I can't see anything. Aha, there, okay. Oh, I already spelled it wrong. Crap. Hiya, Gary. How are you? Are you having a nice day? Ma, ma, hui, man.
also I have this little cough thing that's going on. Like a dry cough. But I did hear from the CDC this morning, and there is good news. If you've had COVID once, that you probably won't have the same COVID again. So if I had it before and I didn't know, then this should be a breeze. My body will just ramp up its B cells and it'll say goodbye. <laughs> now, um, is it Maraban? Is the H silent or is the B silent? Topacus, Topactus. How are you doing, Trisha? What's new? Can you guys hear me okay? I'm really sorry if you can't. Like, I done messed up. All my settings are all messed up. I can read some, but I can't read others. Completely recovered. Oh, thank God. I am so happy. Where were you Saturday? We missed you. Did you come? I can't remember. I don't know. That's the other thing. I definitely think I had COVID because I think I'm having memory issues. It's weird. The things that you remember and the things that you don't. Like, I can remember how to operate and I can remember all the words, you know to my medical profession but like when it comes to like other people and places and things shh, out in one ear and out the other it's totally crazy oh good I'm so glad there for a while I thought I had it because I had a weird taste thing going on but I never had a test because we were in quarantine and I wasn't going anywhere, so. Mm. Oh, thanks, Gary. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Plus, I have seasonal asthma, and like things are starting to ramp up here in California as far as like the temperature. It's getting real warm today. Let's see, what is it today? Today it is. Sixty-four degrees. Wow. 
That's pretty crazy. Alexa, what is the weather? Currently, in Santa Ana, it's 64 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Alexa, stop. Wow, 64 degrees. Mostly sunny skies. Joint pain. Oh, yeah. Every time it rains, or every time the um, the barometer goes down, which is the barometric pressure, the pressure makes everything expand. My my feet get heavy. My my joints feel stiff. When I wake up in the morning to go do my morning pee, I feel like I'm walking through the beach. <laughs> it's a very interesting experience. <laughs> Unless you really enjoy the beach, which I do not. I much prefer the comfort of my own house. No, I do sound old. That's too funny. <clears throat> well, hopefully with any luck, I will be a crotchety old man shaking my cane at the little children walking by. Get off of my lawn, Sonny. Oh, speak up. I can't hear you. I already have that problem. Did you just say... It left early. Teddy barged in. Is Teddy the dog? Oh yeah, anytime. Oh, your grandbaby. Oh, Teddy. Okay, give me some words to write you folks. I'm falling asleep over here. The dog could have been locked out. Oh no. <clears throat> I learned how to write a new D. I'm not as fond of it as 
crit D. Do you guys have a favorite poem? I know, it's been a minute. Or oh, your, your grandbaby haven't talked in a minute. <laughs> we haven't talked in a minute either. I think it's funny because <clears throat> most of my friends know that I hate talking on the phone because it's always like talking through a plastic bag or there's wind or dogs barking in the background. I hate it. I hate talking on the phone. So don't call me. <laughs> but if you do want to take talk to me, then perhaps get me on Zoom or you know, Facebook Messenger call or something, text message. Next is preferred. <laughs> oh, I missed you too, Trish. Messenger is fine with me. I don't have a phone either. Yeah. Sometimes. Like if it's important and it's short, then fine. But like otherwise, long conversations on the phone are upsetting. Especially because there's a lot of people, there's a lot of, a lot of people who don't believe in upgrading their phones every year and the technology is always changing. And so if version A doesn't match version B because version B is better on the scale, then the audio quality will be that. <laughs> or that. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what is going on with this stream. Am I, am I blotchy? Is that what's happening? I don't know. I give up. Oh, 
Alright, I'm going to do some drills now. Because I need to do my drills. I haven't done drills in a while. I especially haven't done them with my nip pen. Maybe just one line of each. And maybe if you're, if you have a pen lying around, you can do drills too. Unless you have something that you want me to write. <laughs> This might be Parker, no, this might be Waterman Inc. I can't remember. <laughs> I write down pretty much everything else except for the, the ink that goes in that little ink pot. It's a wiggle. It's a little wiggle. Gosh, I keep having this tick in my eyelid. Ugh. My grandmother had it. All I know is I am getting sleepy, and it's probably because I'm hungry, but I don't want to go downstairs and make something because I'm <clears throat> too lazy. Okay, what is next? Uh, the ascending stem loop.
Okay, now I'm going to do the descending stem loop. I think it's funny because I'm, I'm better at the descending stem loop with a pointed pen, but I'm better at the ascending stem loop with the brush pen. Okay, now we're going to get into the sp <clears throat> specified. Do the reverse descending stem loop. the reverse oval. You find this hypnotic? <laughs> That's awesome. It's too bad I don't have like um, an external microphone. This would make some really good ASMR content. I'm telling you. Do you hear the little yippy dog? It's a little yippy dog. Annoying. All right. Now the S stroke. I don't like it. I think sometimes people think that there's ASMR where there is none. But then some of it is just really intense. Like really scratchy things. It just ugh. I don't like scratchy things. Now, if they want to have videos of petting bunnies, heck yeah, I'm all about that. All right. 
And the last stroke is the K stroke. What does it want? Oh, Pierre Gustafson is online. Maybe we will go visit him in a little bit. This is a very specific stroke. Let's see, Q, R, S, A, B, C, D, E, E is another one. <laughs> the E and the C. are very similar. What's a curmudgeon? It's a curmudgeon. <clears throat> Is that a grumpy old person? Because <laughs> I'm already that. <laughs> uh, that's too funny. All right, let me see. What else? A, B. I guess it's. Just write the alphabet then. Entrance stroke. Uh, uh, oval. Underturn. Ascending stem loop. Reverse oval. Upstroke. And C stroke. Oval ascending stem loop upstroke E stroke ascending stem loop descending stem loop upstroke oval descending stem loop upstroke, ascending stem loop, compound curve, underturn, descending stem loop, tittle tittle, upstroke, ascending stem loop, K loop, Ascending stem loop, upstroke, hard downstroke, overturn, compound curve into a overturn, into a compound curve, into an oval. Comma dot, downstroke, 
reverse oval, oval, reverse descending stem loop, upstroke, R stroke, S stroke, under turn. Under turn, under turn. And I met the middle of my book. How exciting is that? I love hitting the middle of the book. <laughs> okay, V is a compound curve and a comma dot. Um, w is an underturn, an underturn, comma dot, and X is a compound curve with a cross, a Y is a compound curve, a descending stem loop, and upstroke. Z is an overturn, a modified overturn, and a modified descending stem loop and upstroke. <clears throat> wow, that is definitely a lot. So
Bye, Trisha. Have a nice day. See you soon. Love you. Bye. And that will end today. So that's all for today. I want to thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, make a nice comment, subscribe, ring the little bell, make sure it's set to all so when I upload new content, YouTube notifies you. Take care until then. We'll see you soon. Okay, love you. Bye.